I was up till midnight last night trying to get these cabinets done and guys they're done <laughs> there's a lot to do if you could paint your cabinets any color what would you do and get this done all right guys don't laugh at me yes I thought of everything no I didn't <laughs> but today's the day it's finally time for my cabinets to all be the same color <laughs> oh my gosh I am so so excited. This has been my frog project. This has been the thing that I have not wanted to do, but I wanted to have done for so long. So when you guys told me that you guys wanted to see me paint my cabinets, I was like, okay, I need to do it <laughs> and get this done. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to take all of the handles back off. So the reason why I wanted to put all the handles on before I painted was so that I didn't have to like, cause each handle I had to like draw on the on it to see where I was gonna put the hole. And yes, I could have made like a template and that would have been smart and definitely easier than what I did do. But I didn't, so <laughs> it's already done. They're on there, it's great. So I need to take all of the handles off and I need to take all of the drawer faces, these screw into the drawers. You need to take this, the faces off as well. So I have markers and I'm gonna draw on the inside like where the drawer will, where the actual drawer is gonna cover it. So I'm not gonna paint the whole inside cause I don't really need to. I'm just gonna paint what will show. I drew this and I am gonna say something though. I'm not gonna paint the upper cabinets just yet because there's a couple things I need to do to them. I still need to put like the crown molding on top and I need to move, I need to put new handles on those ones. So I'm gonna avoid doing the top cabinets right now and give it like another week, maybe two. I'll probably have painted the top cabinets. I am excited to get them all painted on the bottom. That's the majority of the work and I still have to build the cabinets that are going above my fridge and my range. And I've been waiting for the weather to be warmer because it's really cold here and I don't wanna work outside in our garage when it's so cold or outside on the on the driveway. It's just, it's just too cold. So this is my map of my kitchen. So this is kind of more of what it's like. So this is the sink right here and that's this cabinet right here. So I numbered it starting here on the peninsula. One, two, three, four, five, six six, seven, eight, and then nine is over here between the fridge and the range. Okay, so this one is number seven. This cabinet is seven, so it's seven A and seven B. I was gonna put handles right here, like in between like there and there on this one, but I feel like I kinda like it plain. And if I do, I would just like have a handle like right here and then a handle here, like right above these doors in the center. So it's like kind of cut it into thirds. But I don't know, I think I like it without the handles too, since like it doesn't really need it. It would be, it's a fake drawer anyway, you know? So, and then this cabinet right here is number eight and then it will go eight, one, two, three, four. So then I'll write on the inside of the drawers those things and I got a silver marker silver sharpie for the darker cabinets and a black sharpie for the white cabinets <laughs> yes I thought of everything no I didn't <laughs> but I'm trying to so I'm gonna start taking the handles and the faces off and I need to prime first I probably need to clean them off but I'm gonna get the handles off and then I'm gonna prime them and paint them and it's there's a lot to do. I'm gonna get done what I can. Dan's down for his nap for another hour, so my goal right now is to just get the handles off. I think I can do it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now? Till the morning light Before you turn away I just want you to know That I didn't throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind 
kicking myself a little bit because I should have changed before I started painting. <laughs> I guess I just acquired a new painting shirt. It's fine. Um, so I went through and I went through all the crevices and everything with the primer. Um, I didn't do all of the faces since I painted them previously. I'm just going to touch up like the frames and things. Um, just to make it a little easier, you know? <laughs> All right, so the first thing, I did a lot of research when I was looking for paints, and specifically, I did a lot of research when I was looking for primer. And it was because the the cabinets and things had like a sheen on them. This is what I was working with. I It has like, it's like really, it's very, um, what's the word? Slippery. <laughs> it's very shiny. I mean, not shiny. It's it's pretty satiny. It's not very shiny, but it's like very smooth. And I didn't think that any paint, no matter how good the paint was, was going to stick. So the thing that I needed was a really, really, really good primer. The place that I chose the primer from told me to do an oil-based primer. And it was like an article, I don't even know if I could find the article again, but this is the one that they recommended. It's a little pricier, but this is huge, and I think it'll last me a very, very long time. It's a gallon, and you don't use a lot, you just do one coat, and it doesn't even need to be a very thick coat, it just needs to be one thin coat, and then you sand it, 
and then it really <laughs> grips on to the like smooth surfaces and then it makes it more of a like a grippy surface so it's it dries quickly it's it's really nice so this is called prime lock and it's by insel x i n s l dash x i'll have it linked below it's amazing <laughs> and it's what i primed these cabinets with first and i would say that the primer has held up better than the paint <laughs> So this color right here is called, let me read it, it's called Forest Edge and it's by Bear. So this is just their cabinet and trim enamel. This is the satin finish because I didn't want it to be super shiny. I just kind of wanted it to be more flat, less in your face cabinetry. But when I'm all done painting all of the cabinets, I want to go around and seal it with a polyurethane so i got this polycrylic which i believe is very similar to polyurethane and it's water-based so it'll be easy to put on and and then i'm not doing this color for the top cabinets i'm doing it a little bit lighter color so you'll have to see that when i finish them i haven't finished I haven't done anything with the top cabinets yet, but I'm gonna seal everything with this. Hopefully this is enough for all of my lower cabinets at least. We'll see, um, cause I have a lot. I have like the trim underneath or the, the kicker board underneath and then all of the backing and everything. But um, before I go to bed, because I'm about to go to bed, I'm just gonna take my roller and roll all of the sides and all of the things that need to be rolled. It should only take 10 minutes or so. So I'm gonna do that real quick with the primer, let that dry overnight, and then I'll sand it down, just like a quick sanding, make sure there's no real rough spots, and find any spots that I might have missed, and not worry about that too much. <laughs> And just, I'm gonna try and paint tomorrow a little bit in the morning. We'll see if I get around to it, but I do wanna start getting that layer of the green on so that I just, I just want my kitchen to be done. It might take a week for me to finish this project, especially with how many doors and drawers there are. I'm so tired. Today's been a day, it's been a day. So let's get this going. <laughs> all the paint you need for that <laughs> so literally not very much at all
time for mama. Who's in the camera? Who's that baby? <laughs> yeah, where's Dan Dan? Bye mama. Where's Dan Dan? <laughs> where's Dan Dan? <laughs> where's Dan Dan? Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Say cheese. Bye. Bye. Bye, Mom. Go, 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 So one coat in, this is how it's looking. Definitely looks better than it did. And then that's the side. I put all the, I put the paint and the roller and the brush in this bag just so that it doesn't dry out while I'm waiting for the paint to dry. Roxy, Roxy, are you smelling all the paint and the cleaners and everything? But yeah, I think it's looking good so far. I still need to do all, <laughs> all of the, the doors and the drawer faces and our counters are looking real sad, but I'm getting it done. <laughs> it's happening. Roxy, hey, what are you doing? Roxy, hi babies, hi baby girl, hi. <laughs> Sit. Good girl. Hi, Minion. Love you. Love you, puppers. I'm just hanging out with my glasses on and my hair in a ponytail, wearing my paint clothes. I look real cute. But my battery died while I was painting the last coat. Um, the last one I've done. I still need to go around, I think, with the... Not the brush, necessarily. Not a lot with the brush, at least. Um, but I'm gonna have to do a little bit with the brush and then mostly I'm just gonna go over with the roller again, but it's looking really good. Like, look how good that looks. I did just finish painting it, so it might be a little, like, discolored in some spots because it'll be lighter in some spots and darker in others. And then this side is looking really good. The corner was completely white and now it blends in, so now it'll look a little nicer. I like that it's all the same color except the bottom. I do I do need to paint the the kickboard. I'm ready to finish so that I can get my kitchen back together because um it's it's a big mess, but I want to get this done before I worry about cleaning. So so while I've been painting, I've been watching YouTube because that's what I do. So I watched the Minimal Moms video. Um, but then I also watch, uh, I don't know if you know who Kim from The Wads is, but I watch her quite a bit. And I just, I really like her. I think she's very, like, relatable. 
and I just think she's so funny. She cut her hair in the video I was watching and it just made me laugh. I was just laughing with her. I was like, oh my gosh. And it made me want to cut my hair. <laughs> and I don't know, like I want to cut my own hair. I've been wanting to go to a salon to get my hair cut, but you know what? I could maybe cut my own hair. That would be kind of fun. I paint my own cabinets. Why can't I cut my hair? I have not had a haircut in over a year. It, yeah, it's been a long time. Roxy's trying to get something from me. It's under the stove. I don't even know. Roxy, what are you doing? What are you doing, honey? Oh, <laughs> why? There's just like so much that goes into renovating and just even just picking your paint colors is like the worst thing ever. <laughs> I was so stressed out. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna, I was like, I'm gonna pick such an ugly color and everyone's gonna make fun of me. And I mean, like you just have these thoughts in your head of how you want your kitchen to look and how perfect you want it to be because you see these Pinterest pictures and you see other people's kitchens on YouTube and Instagram and you're just like, I want that. I want it, my kitchen to look that good. But the thing is, it doesn't really matter. Like it just, it, it doesn't like, my kitchen functioned just as good as someone else's kitchen that had beautiful cabinets and my kitchen the reason why we moved our kitchen was for the functionality rather than the gorgeousness but i mean that kind of came along with it like i could make it look the way i wanted to because we were moving it and so might as well instead of just like doing like oh it's ugly you know <laughs> like um and and i don't know like it it just it doesn't matter like the color of your cabinets it doesn't matter do it like what do what you like or leave it because it's too much work to have to fix it and i don't blame you <laughs> and i might change my tune in like a week and be like oh no you should change it it's so fun <laughs> because i'm done with mine and i'm enjoying it you know but it really is so much work just to paint cabinets and and I'm learning that. <laughs> I'm learning how much work it is just to paint your freaking cabinets. And I want it I want it to look good, but I also don't care as much as I used to. When I was first starting the renovation, I was gung-ho about making it perfect. I was doing all the research. I was like, it's gonna look so good because I'm doing all this research and I'm making it perfect and guys, nothing is perfect. Nothing, nothing, nothing is ever going to be perfect in any sense of the word. So make it as good as you can <laughs> with the time you have and the energy you have to put into it. And that's all you need. Like here, I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. It's not perfect because, so we had to put this in and like right here this piece didn't match up with this piece so i had to fill it in and just paint over it it's hidden so i'm not that worried about this there is a nail from the nail gun that's sticking out that i could not get out and i could not push in so i puttied around it and just painted over it um, <laughs> there's a gap right in here like right in there that um, you can't really tell from this point from the camera, but there's a little gap there that I didn't fill in and I'm just not even worried about it. I was going to like sand in between each layer, but I feel like sanding between the primer and putting the paint on is all you really need to do because this paint is really thin and it's like more smooth of a application. It's just the sanding between the primer that you need to do because the primer is very rough so if you put the primer on and then you sand then you can just layer the paint on and I so funny story about having a toddler and two dogs is that anytime the dog does something now dan will go no dog <laughs> and it's just funny because it's like the same inflection that i have when i say it I'm like, no dog, stop it. <laughs> and then he goes, no dog. So good. Anyway. Oh, kids, they are your little mini aren't they? 
like when you're painting do your clothes become your rags because that just is the way it is for me like if I get paint on my hands it goes straight onto my clothes which is why I was so sad that I was painting without like a paint shirt on because I didn't have my rag and then I probably still ruined the shirt so <sighs> I should have painted with my paint shirt on last night but I just didn't want I just didn't want to I didn't want to go change changing is hard Minion, out of the way. <laughs> like what's right in front of the freaking thing? Freaking dog. See, that's how Dan says it. Dog. <laughs> oh, it's so good. If you could paint your cabinets any color, what would you do? I think it's done. I think I'm done. <laughs> I think. I'm almost out of the paint, which is really fun that I only had to fill this up once to do all of this. So I'm going to clean up and then I have to go get ready for a birthday party. Okay, next thing. This is the reason why I like this tin foil solution though. You just roll it up like that. And it's so easy to throw this away. And this is as clean as it was before. There's no green paint in there, so we know it, nothing came from the tin foil. Works every time. Would recommend. I've seen those faces I've heard all the lies But you ain't gazing On someone in denial Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard again and I'm not putting on a paint shirt but I'm just trying to paint these cabinets 
doors. I wanted to get the doors done today. We'll see if I can. Um, I got four of them done already. It looks so good. And now I'm working on the other four. So there's four, there's eight on the bottom. And then I still need to do all of the drawer faces. <laughs> but I thought I'd sit and chat with you for a minute because it's fun to chat. Um, I'm making dinner right now. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Um, my mom makes this meatloaf and I was looking at my ingredients that I have. I really need to go grocery shopping. So I was looking at my ingredients that I have though and I was like, well, I've got meat, I've got bacon, which I did add bacon, it's so good. Okay, um, cheese and milk and I had all of the ingredients except I didn't have eggs. So hopefully, because the eggs like kind of bind it together but I mean, it'll still taste really good. And then I make my own sauce. It's just really good. Um, it's my mom. Well, I think my mom got the recipe from a friend like a long time ago, but it's just been like our family recipe. Anyway, it smells amazing. I'm like drooling, <laughs> so hungry. So yeah, I have been really enjoying seeing my cabinets done even just the four doors that I put on. But it's looking really good and it feels really good and I don't know, I'm just feeling really productive, you know? <laughs> like, uh, ah. Don't get pinked on your shirt, Lindsay. You will regret it. But Dan's still sleeping. He, take, he kind of went down for a late nap today. I don't know why. He just didn't want to sleep. <laughs> don't ask me why. I'm always interested to know like what people hate the most. Like what, what people other than me, because I know what I think. But <laughs> what other people tend to feel about like certain chores. I really don't love painting. Painting is not my favorite thing. I do it because I have to. <laughs> So, I think it's ready to come out of the oven so I can put the sauce on it. You put the sauce on it and then you cook it a little bit longer. So delicious. Okay, I'm gonna put some sauce on it. Anyway, I wanted to show you over here. Look how good that looks. Ignore the dirty dishes and all the paint stuff, but oh my gosh, and all of the drawer faces look. <laughs> So I'm just sanding all of these boards down. I've got about four of them done so far, 15 more to go. Um, but so what I didn't show is that I primed all of the boards. I left the back little spot empty where it's not even gonna show, except um, I just left it so that I could see where each drawer goes. So yes. You told me more. Then wants to show you my intention My brain gets blocked at times but now Somehow I'll give you my attention You've got to know that I I ain't a person who understands All the clockwork of a romance You make me feel so So I do want to say that I, like my house is torn apart and so I might be doing another cleaning video soon, but my house is torn apart and when you're doing a project that takes up all of your time, it's okay, it's okay to let your house kind of fall apart for a little bit because it's not forever, it's very temporary and it will go back to a better, cleaner state. But right now it is not in that department. It is very much not clean. <laughs> um, and I did like, I did do a little tidy last night where I vacuumed where I needed a vacuum and I cleaned out my vacuum, <laughs> it's over there. And I like, I did some laundry and I did some dishes so I do feel like like the bare minimum has been met, but like my house just feels like it's in such disarray because there's so much like there's so much paint stuff in my kitchen. It's not fun 
to have paint in your kitchen, guys. <laughs> so I'm okay, guys. I got all of the drawer fronts laid out. I thought I'd have to do it in two batches, but I got it set up so that I can do all 19 at once. That way I can just paint them, let them dry, and do it three times and then do the top coat. And then maybe I'll be done tonight with all the drawers. That would be really awesome. All right, so I've done almost all of them. I just have one more to do the back of. And then I think I'm gonna go over, I've done three coats, but I think I'm gonna go over the fronts one more time just because I feel like there's still spots that need to be fixed. But I'm just gonna grab some paint and do the back of this last one. Is that your basketball? All right, so I have the tape right here, and I'm just gonna peel off the tape. So it shows that this is number eight, dash two. So it's cabinet eight, drawer, second from the top. So I'm just gonna do that with all of them. Um, I have a ball of tape, do you want it? <laughs> What does a cow say? Moo. Moo. Good job. What does a dinosaur say? Roar. Roar. What does a cat say? Meow. Meow. Hi. <laughs> Alright guys, don't laugh at me. <laughs> I just finished, okay? I just finished all of the lower cabinets. I put the polycrylic on there. And then I was just like, because all of the other cabinets, there's been like a couple scratches here and there. And I'm like, I feel like the protective layer isn't that protective. So <laughs> I need to run to the store tomorrow and grab actual polyurethane. And yeah, but I mean, they're done other than the coat of polyurethane that I'm going to need to put on top. <sighs> That'll be tomorrow. Um, I'm not that worried. I'm just gonna leave these here tonight to really cure and then I'll do the polyurethane tomorrow. All right, so I got this. I hope this is the right thing. So this is one coat polyurethane. It's a little bit more expensive, but you don't have to use as much and I don't wanna do more than like one use only with adequate ventilation let's open some windows i opened five windows so hopefully that's enough that's all of the ones that i could open on this level that like actually would help so i opened the bathroom one trapped my dogs in our bedroom and then opened this one that one and then two in the dining room i don't know Wheels in motion 
Okay. You want to go see the kitchen? Where's the kitchen? Where's your kitchen? Let's go see it. Yeah, wow. Do you like it? I do. Yeah? Is it stuck? Oh, can you close it? Close it. Good job. Yay. Yay, good job. All right, guys, we're done. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> um... So obviously I did what I could. It took a week, guys. It took a week. I need to make myself not look like a ghost. Oh, we're gonna start at the front door. So this part right here, you don't really see, but I think it looks really good with the chairs there. They're not spaced perfectly, so that's driving me crazy. They're not even spaced semi-decently. So we have our chairs there and then I just, I think it looks really good with the chairs and everything. Um, but like, doesn't that look so pretty? I love it. And then pull them out for a second. So you can maybe see the paneling. So it's not the most visible thing, but definitely is there. <laughs> I like how like they're not the same distance between them all. I like I liked that. That's what it is on this one too. You just can't. The camera's not really showing it. So you walk in. Here's the counter. It looks really good. And then the fridge needs to be cleaned. And then this cabinet here looks good. And then well, pow! All of these cabinets. This is the part that took the longest <laughs> because there's so many of them. And then over here, some more paneling. You see it in real life, like it's hard to see on camera for some reason, but what do you guys think? Does it look good? I like it. <laughs> and then obviously these two up here need to be lighter. They're definitely gonna be a lighter color than on the bottom, but right now it's just, it is what it is, you know? I realized my tripod was in that shot and I just, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I can show you to you without the tripod real quick though. Woohoo, no tripod in that shot. Look how pretty it is. Well guys, I'm just so excited. I feel like painting my cabinets was like, it's one of those things that I was like really nervous to do and obviously I'm not done but like doing the next step is going to be a lot easier because I've already tackled the biggest part. I have started my frog project guys and it feels really good and it's funny that it's green because it's a frog project but I don't know. What do you guys think of the color? I... It's probably not the color everyone would choose, but it's definitely something that I wanted. I wanted like this like greenish, this like bluish greenish color that like would make everything pop. Because my floors are wood and then my countertops are butcher block. So having the green just kind of brings a little bit of color in. I could have done white, but I just, I didn't want to do white. <laughs> white was something that I wanted to stay away from. And I think it looks really good. I'm really excited and yeah, so thank you so much for watching. But I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You're crazy. You're a crazy dog. Yes, you are. You're so crazy. No, no jumping. No jumping up. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl.